Good afternoon. My name is Jamison Keller with Agency RM. I am the Vice President of Strategic Development. I really appreciate everybody joining us today for our webinar to discuss how to generate leads using a dental product. Today with me, I have Diego Coig of Emeritus Dental. Uh, Diego is going to give us a fantastic presentation here. It's something that actually that uh, Rob and I sat through a few weeks back. Both of us wrote down, we have to have this done for, for Agency RM Connected Agents because it was absolutely fantastic. We went as far as saying it was inspiring. Um, and both of us were totally excited about selling dental insurance of all things because you can do big things with dental insurance with your other lines of business. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and pass this over to Diego. Diego, are you there? I am here. All right. Thank you. Good afternoon. And it's a pleasure to have you with me for a few minutes today. I'm going to try to keep this uh, entertaining as well as educa educational and give you some sales ideas, hopefully, that will help your business. But before I do so, I want to ask you a question. And this question is not related to dental or vision. It's actually related to anything you do in life, anything you're selling. And is when you have a client in front of you across the table, over the phone, however you sell, uh, if you were that person or if that person was your, your mother, your father, if they were in that situation and, they, and, and, and will you sell this plan to them? Will you look for the absolute best plan for that individual on anything you sell? And I'm assuming the answer is yes. And I say that because the first thing that you got to do when you're selling something, it has to feel right. It has to feel good, correct? So my goal today is to show you why I really felt that way about our products. And, 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 if, and at the end of the presentation, hopefully you agree with me. And the other thing is that anything you sell has to add value to your business. Some people question, well, why would I spend my time selling a low premium product like dental or vision when I could be selling something that is higher premium and perhaps make a little more money? And I think that you will understand today why this makes a lot of sense and it will complement your business and make you money in many other ways. When we were... Um, Designing the individual products that I'm about to show you. Um, this came from a prior company that, uh, that uh, Emeritus acquired. Uh, we, we knew that uh, for us to get an agent to do business, we needed to do it very easily, very fast. Why? Because the commission on a dental product, even though we are competitive, is not very much due to the low premium uh, scenario, right? So we knew that if we wanted to get your business or earn your business, we needed to make it extremely simple, as simple as possible, so you can explain the product in literally 20 seconds. We also knew that we needed to have a reputation to maintain. We wanted to, to, to really offer some true value to the client. There are some discussions out there that people buy dental insurance, go to the dentist, they hardly cover anything, they get mad, they cancel the policies. You see that, especially with products that are high commission, low value. Well, we want it to be a good commission, great value. You know, that, that was really the, the, the thought process here. And why? Because it doesn't make a lot more sense for your business. The other thing is, okay, we got the product, we got the simplicity, we got the value, but how can we do this really easy and really fast for our agents? So that's when the technology came into play. And the last thing was, once the agent sells a policy like this, we don't want them to deal with maintenance. They have to be service-free. So we have to have outstanding service. So we knew that if we can accomplish these things, we were onto something. Well, to make this story short, we went from our $300,000 in sales on this product to $40 million in about five years. The growth has been amazing. So we are extremely uh, happy with the results. We will continue to grow and see more and more uh, huge clients coming on board with us, which is great. So let me talk to you about what we did or how we did it. Uh, the first thing is that our product, the ones that I'm about to show you today, are approved in most states. They're all the same. There are some state differentiations. And today I'm going to focus a little bit on Washington State because my understanding is that many of you on today's presentation are in Washington. And you already know that Washington is a little special when it comes to filing. So let's start with Washington State and the product over there. Uh, so only Washington, okay? The way we did it is we wanted to offer um, value to the client as, as soon as possible uh, with everything we had. So on, when it came to preventive services, we give day one, you know, 100% coverage because we believe that when you're paying a dental premium, you should get something in return. Why? Because when you buy dental, you buy it to utilize it, to utilize it. Unlike your car insurance, for example, that you're hoping to never utilize. So if you want to utilize it, then let's give you something in return. So 
first of all, you're paying a premium, we should give you the preventive. So all that 100%. When it came to basic services, we did have a graded benefit that increases over time. And we started at 50% day one. Then after January 1st, so it's not a whole year, it's only after January 1st. So if you sold this policy on December 27th, in five days or so, you will be at, at 65%, okay? So it's, it's a calendar year the way we work on this policy. So after January 1st, you will be at 65%, and then the following January 1st, you will be at 80%. So as you can see, increases, which helps with retention. With major services, we included implants because that is something that now has become extremely popular. Most dentists now prefer to maintain the original teeth versus dentures and things like that. And they're expensive. So we included implants. And in Washington State, it's, 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 it's unfortunate, but we actually had to have a six-month waiting period. And I know, uh, uh, and I say that because in other states we don't have a waiting period, and I'll show you that in a second, but six months is still better than anybody because everybody else is 12 months before you get anything. So the fact that we were able to get six months is awesome, you know, six months. In six months you can do implants and all of that. So dentures, crowns, bridges. So very, very strong in value and very short weight when it comes to the major staff compared to the competition. We do have a calendar year maximum of $50. That's, you know, per, per calendar year, you pay $50 per person and, and you're done. So it's not a very high deductible. I think the deductible is of 100 and more. And then you get to choose whether you want $1,000 or $2,000. Perfect. And then, as you can see, we have orthodontic services. Orthodontic services are only for children. We do not offer orthodontic for adults. So if you're selling these to seniors, to adults only, don't even talk about it. They're not paying for it anyway, right? But if you do happen to have grandkids or, 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 or children, it's a family plan, and they have kids and they need braces, perfect. They get a $1,000 bucket of money that they can use towards their um, braces and stuff like that after one year. When the $1,000 runs out, it's done. So this is a small help towards ortho for kids. Again, if you're talking to two seniors, don't even talk about it. They don't get it. They don't pay for it. Okay, so that's Washington. A very good plan. We are trying to get the new version of this plan approved in Washington, but it may take us a while. Uh, it's, it's, file. it's gonna take us a while. This is what we sell in other states. Almost identical plan. The only difference here is that we offer a day one benefit on absolutely everything. So we don't have that six month wait in Washington. Again, six months is better than a year like everybody else, but it's not as good as nothing, right? So, and the, and the basic services are 50% right away. And then after January 1st, you say, it's a little faster. With major services, it's 15% day one. And then after January 1st, you're at 50%. All the preventive is taken care of at 100%. And then the, 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 the deductible only applies to anything outside of preventive. So if you have basic or major services, you pay the $50 deductible, but not on preventive. In Washington, the deductible applies to everything. So it's slightly less attractive. It's still very attractive for Washington. There are not very many options. It's still probably the best plan in Washington today. Yes, once we get this one approved in Washington, we'll offer it to you as well. But how do you sell this plan? This plan you sell it basically saying, listen, I have a plan that is one or 2,000 bucks. And um, all the benefits are covered day one in most states in Washington. You know, you only wait six months for major. Um, and the deductible is only 50 bucks, which is a pretty small deductible compared to other plans. And they have, you know, a, 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 a more value than anything you see out there in terms of what you're going to get in terms of reimbursement. And that will come in a minute when I talk to you about the network. So the $2,000 plan, and then you have the $1,000 plan, which is, this is outside of Washington, okay? Not in Washington. In Washington, you only have the Advantage Plus for Washington with 1,000 or 2,000. In other states, you have the Advantage Plus for $2,000 and the Advantage for $1,000. Same thing, all the preventive is covered at 100%. Everything else, 15% right away, 50% after January 1st. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than that. I actually look at this product for somebody like myself. I go to the dentist twice a year, and all I normally get done are my cleanings, my exams, and my 
annual x-rays. I actually went to the dentist a week ago, and I live in Minneapolis, Minnesota. In the way out, I asked the dentist, how much will this visit would have cost me if I didn't have any insurance? And they will, yeah, well, you got the x-rays, the bite wings, you got the cleaning, you got the exam. It would have been 235 bucks. Really? And I said, well, I had to come twice a year for preventive, but the second time I don't do the, the x-rays. So what is the total? $422. Great. How much does this plan cost me that covers all that at 100%? 430 bucks. I mean, I'm sorry, 230 bucks. So I could buy this plan, do the same thing, and save 200 bucks. That's 200 extra dollars that I have. So that's extra money that I just found for myself on something that I got to do anyway. Do you see where I'm going with this? The, 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 the purpose of dental insurance is to say your plan A. Hey, hey, for example, I know that Medsa premium is expensive, but I have a way to help you. You're going to pay 1500 for your Medsa premium. Well, what if we find some money for you? If you buy this dental plan with Emeritus, your savings are going to be somewhere around three to 800 bucks, depending on how much you do every year. And I'll talk more about that, but it's a way to find money. And, and, and if you find money, you can use that money to sell other products. So we have a, a plan in Washington, Advantage Plus, with 1,000 or 2,000. We have Advantage Plus and Advantage in other states. One is 2,000, one is 1,000. They're all very similar in, in nature, OK? But you can actually go anywhere you want with these plans. You can go to any doctor you want. The, the good thing is that if you go into the Emeritus network, then we pay claims based on the negotiated price between us and the network. We also call those the MAC PPO, maximum allowable charge or maximum allowable benefit, is MAC or MAF PPO. So it's because we, we agree with the dentist that, that is a payment in exchange. We're going to give them volume. They're going to get more clients. They're happy. Our average discount is pretty good. It's about 32%. If you want to go out of network, then you guys sell the out of network version, which I'll show you in a second. And that's what we call the 80th percentile UNC or usual and customary rate where you are, where you live. So it's different in, in Lincoln, Nebraska than it is in, in Seattle, Washington, because the prices are different, right? So the way that works is if there were, you know, 100 dentists in your city, in your zip code, and 80% of the dentists were charging $200 for a dental service, we're going to pay for that service based on $200 because that is the usual and customary price where you are. That's the rate where you are. If you go to a dentist that charges $205, then we're going to charge, we're going to pay based on $200. The $5 comes out of your pocket because that's a little more expensive than usual. Hopefully that makes sense. So the same plan, the Advantage Plus or the Advantage, you can go, it's the, same, the plan design is identical. It's you can choose the network version or the out-of-network version. How will you do this? You find out who your client's dentist is. And if it's in network, you sell them the network version. Great. If it's not, you sell them the other one because we pay more for those claims. Let's talk about the, so the simplicity of the plans are pretty simple. They won't benefit on everything. Washington six months wait only on major. So it's pretty good plan, right? 2,000 bucks. But the true value on a dental plan and where you really should be leading or guiding your clients to go is to, to go to a dentist inside a network. Why? First of all, we have a network that is huge. Over 472,000 access points as of recently. This, this presentation is not up to date in, in this number because it keeps changing every day. We keep increasing. So 472,000. But note that the average discount is 32%. Why am I telling you this? Because I have some friends that are a very close competitor of ours that they have a network that is probably twice the size of ours, but their discounts are 5% or less. So there is not really value for the client. I mean, I'm going to discount at 5 or 4 or 3 or 2%. What is the value to me if I'm not going to get hardly any discount? But if you go with this plan and you get 32% in average, some things are 40, some things are 20, but in average 32%. Then, okay, that's a good amount of discount. In addition to that, I get the insurance portion of it or the co-insurance portion of it that is going to cover even more of the bill. So that now start, it starts to make sense. Look at it from this point of view. We took our claims data from all of our 65 plus people. And we realized that the average senior in the United States is spending 1154 in dental per year. 
How powerful is that when you can go to somebody and say, hey, I know you're going to spend roughly $1,200 a year on dental. I can send you a dental plan. And just by going to a dentist in their network, I can save you three or 400 bucks a year. Just that, plus whatever you save in the other procedures via the insurance portion of it. So, hey, you just found some money for your client. Guess what? Now you have more money to sell them other products. And why? Because it's a utilization product, a product that you do, you go and use it. Unlike other insurance, that, like life, you don't want to use that one. Let me take you this a little deeper. Let's say your client needs to get a crown done, okay? So the usual and customary rate for a crown in my area where I live is twelve twenty-seven. If I go to a dentist, you know, without insurance, I'm going to pay about twelve twenty-seven for a crown. If I have an emeritus plan and I go in the network, the negotiated rate is around seven hundred and seventy-two bucks. So day one, and this is talking with the fifteen percent that we cover outside of Washington, but day one, uh, I will get a 47% discount, saving me about $576. After year two, or basically after January 1st, when my coinsurance is at 50%, or for those of you in Washington State, after six months, if you go get a crown done with the 50% coinsurance plus the network discount, your savings will be at almost 70% equals to $846 in savings on one crown. How powerful is that to tell your client, hey, you just save 843 bucks, now we have more, or 46 bucks, now we have more money to sell you the meds up. And guess what? You gotta do it because nobody wants to be unhealthy and so on. So that's, that's what this is trying to really bring, to, bring you value. Even take it a step farther. You should tell your client, listen, go to the dentist and use this plan. It's designed for you to use it. Don't wait, you gotta use it. Go to the dentist and use it. In your way out, ask the question that I asked my dentist. How much will this would have been without insurance? And if you like what you hear, can you please tell your friends? Tell your friends to, to give me a call because, because you know I can sell that to them as well and help them save some money as well, right? Okay, perfect. But you can only do that if you really feel good about the product and you really feel the product offers value. Otherwise, you're gonna look like a fool, right? So do that. And if they tell their friends, their friends call you, and what do you do? You tell the friends, hey, I also sell other things. So now you have a lead coming into your office. You have a guaranteed sell with the dental, and you can also sell them other things because now you establish a relationship. So that's how dental starts really helping your business. And it's not just the commission that you make on the dental plan, but it's the lead, the generation, the referrals. Why? Because you selected a carrier that offers high value on the dental versus those other dental plans that are low values that are making people angry. And I've said, I'm thinking that dental insurance is, is not is worthless because they, they're choosing the wrong carrier or the wrong product. And that's not gonna help your reputation. So, so that's why you have choices, I know that. But make choices with what you believe has the better network. And by the way, our network is by far the best in the individual space, I guarantee that. Why? Because I used to come from a smaller carrier where we had to lease a network. It was Dentamax or Carrington. Well, it was a combination of those two combined. And you know, it was about half the size of ours. And most of the dental carriers out there that are in the individual space are leasing networks. Or you know, you have our friends are uh, Delta with the Premier that is 5% or less in, in, in discounts. So the size with the discount combined is what you have to evaluate. Not all networks are equal. We also did a study with Gallup. 71% of seniors intend to keep their dental and they would like to go to the dentist. What does that mean to you? That means that every time you sit in front of a senior, you have a seven out of 10 chance, I mean, seven out of 10 people that you sit in front of them are gonna tell you that they do want a dental plan. So what an easy intro, what an easy op door opener into, into establishing a relationship with them. And of course, extra money for you, referral money. So huge opportunity with this product to help your business. Let's talk about vision and in vision, um, um, we have uh, three plans, really. Um, we have the one with the IMED network, one with the VSP network, and another one with no network. Okay. So the one in Washington, uh, I don't have it in the illustration right now, but it's a, it's one without a network. It's basically a, a reimbursement where you know you go, you you can go get an exam, and we'll give you fifty bucks towards the exam, or we'll give you a hundred dollars towards the the frames and so on. It's kind of a reimbursement plan with no network, you go anywhere you want, but it adds a little savings to your, 
to your client. The VSP and the IMED network are in most states. And what the, the way this works is, we call it the Prime Star Select, uses the IMED network. You can go to the eye doctor every year, once a year, and then you can get lenses or frames or contacts every two years. And it's a copy system. So you need an exam, you pay 25 bucks, we pay for the rest. You need frames or contacts, uh, we give you an allowance of $130 every two years towards the frames or the contacts. You need lenses, you pay, again, a copay for the lenses of enhancements, and we give you, uh, we pay the difference. The good news is 10 bucks a month. The one in Washington is under $10, like nine and change, okay? So it's very, very inexpensive. Um, and it saves you clients some money, and I'll show you how in a second. The VSP version of our, of our plan is a little stronger in benefit. So depending on where, who the doctor is, if they're in the eye or the VSP or both, you can choose one or the other. But this one, they can get the eye exam, the lenses, and the contacts every single year. And the copies are smaller. For example, an eye exam, they only have to pay 10 bucks. We pay for the difference. The frames of the contacts, they get an allowance of 150 every year. So it's a little more, more often. The other one was 130 every two years. And, uh, and the, other, the other copies are also smaller. So the rate is a little higher. It's $16 per person per month. I mean, we spend that going to Starbucks any given minute. It's, it's, it's nothing, really. But what does that mean to your client's pocket? So this is where it got good. I went to the claims area at Emeritus, and I said, I want you to take randomly two samples of two people, one that utilized, uh, purchased a select plan and one that purchased a choice plan. And let's see what happened. So the first individual, they got an eye exam. By the way, the average eye exam is around 100, 100 to 150 bucks. In this case, it was 145 where this person was located, the retail price. And they got contact lenses and the contact fitting. So without insurance, this individual would have paid $515. With the insurance, because of the co-pays, they only pay 175 So that's a lot of savings, right? But then I was like, well, yeah, but they did buy the plan and they paid 10 bucks a month for 12 months. So why don't we do a full year worth of premium, even though they don't have to wait a full year? And even after paying the premium, the person saved 212 bucks. You can see where I'm going with this. You get the choice plan, very similar scenario. They got a person that got an eye exam. They got lenses. They got UV coating, scratch coating, frames. The frames were 191. Remember, the allowance was 150. So that's $41 difference. So with insurance, 80 bucks. Without insurance, 470. After the premium, 194. So you save 200 bucks regardless of it. And that's $200 that you add to the, you know, four, three, nine, hundred, whatever it was on the dental, you just found some money for your client. It's pretty cool. And with the Washington product, yeah, you, you pay like nine bucks a month, but again, the client will save a couple hundred bucks also. It's pretty neat how you can just help them do something that they do anyway in a cheaper way. So regardless of how much money they have, everybody wants to have more. So that's how this helps your business and your reputation. And then you can ask for leads and referrals. In my experience, or what we have seen is 51% of our dental cases come with vision, okay? So 51% is pretty good. And, and you can sell dental only, vision only, or you can sell both. And we also have any, we don't have any age limitation, which means that when you have a client in front of you, you don't need to know their age. You can say, hey, I have a, a plan that pays you $2,000 on dental, it works this way, and, and it costs this much. And maybe later you can ask them how old you are when you're filling out the application. So it's the same rate, any age, 18 plus, any age. Other companies, I noticed that they have age-banded products. And I mentioned this because the older you are, the more you pay. That's the way it is. So if you think about it, why is that? Because the older you are, the more you need to go to the dentist, the, the worse your teeth are and so on. So insurance companies decide that, well, if they're going to use it more, they're going to do more claims, I'm going to charge them more money. For us, it was a little different the way we approached that. We looked at it and said, yeah, you know what? The seniors do use it more. However, they also stay longer on the plan. The persistency is better because they make their little payments every month and they don't drop you. They don't leave you the minute they find a job with benefits or something like that. So because of the good persistency, especially when you sold it with another product, then we realized that we didn't have to charge more. So be, be free to say any age. If you're 18 plus, I know I have a plan for you. So I went through the two dental plans, the 1,000 and 2,000 dental plans, depending on where you are. 
Uh, I went to the two vision plans or three vision plans. I didn't really show you the Washington plan, but it's, it's very easy to understand when you see on the hyperlink. Uh, you can go in network, obviously, it's higher benefit no matter what, or out of network with pay based on the UNC. But even though I have really good plans, how do you sell them? And that's the technology part that comes into play here. So when you get appointed, when you call Jameson at, at Agency RM and you say, hey, I want to get appointed with Emeritus. We, we get you appointed, it costs you absolutely nothing, and we send you a welcome email saying, hey, welcome to Emeritus, here is your hyperlink. And there's a little button you can attach your link to it and put it on your website, on your Facebook page, whatever you want. It's a consumer approved site. We believe that this adds value to your business because we're giving you a tool for basically to, take, to handle leads, to get referrals, to do whatever you want. You can enroll somebody using your cell phone, you can enroll somebody, or you can actually send the link to your client and have them enroll themselves because it is consumer approved. Again, it costs you no money. So why wouldn't you add this to your business? It costs you nothing and it's adding value to your business. So you get your hyperlink. When you go on the link and you, 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 you click on it, this is gonna come up. And, and what we were really looking at is what is the least amount of questions we need to ask somebody when they wanna buy dental? Do we wanna ask them for their social security number? Do we need it? No, then why would we ask for that? But we needed to know the zip code because depending on where you are, some places are more expensive than others. We needed to know who is covered. Is it one person? Is it the two of you? Is it the whole family? We needed to know if you wanted dental or vision or both. And we needed to know when you want to start. Do you want to start tomorrow? Do you want to start in three days, in five days, in 15 days, whatever. The effective date. So it's pretty easy. Okay, we can ask these questions really quick. Boom, boom, boom. You fill in those three boxes or four boxes. And you click in there where it says C plans. Enter. If you're in Washington, this is going to come up. You're going to see four versions of plans. In reality, it is one plan design. It's the plan design that I showed you earlier. The 100 um, preventive, the increase in basic, and the 50% major after six months. But you have the $1,000 version in network. In Washington, they make us call it the MAC PPO. We have to spell it out the way we file it, okay? So if you see MAC PPO, that's network. That's inside the network, that's a negotiated price. Maximum allowable charge inside the network. If you want the out of network because the client dentist is not in the network, you choose the bottom two. You have the 1,000 version of the passive PPO or the 2,000 version of the passive PPO. That's out of network. How do you know? Look at the first bullet. Designed for those who will utilize the network. Great, that's the network plan. If you look in the bottom two, it says freedom to use with any dentist. However, they can still go in the network if they want to and it works as well, right? But if we use any dentist, is, 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 is better. And, and the way it is, is any dentist we're gonna pay based on the UNC, like that slide that I showed you earlier, the top two is the network. So how do you do this? The first question you gotta ask your client is simply, who's your dentist, right? For those of you outside of, um, Washington is going to look a little more colorful. The top two Advantage Network and Advantage Plus Network, it actually says network on the name because Washington was a little more strict on us. And the bottom two says Advantage and Advantage Plus, same thing. Top two are network, bottom two are out of network. The two orange are identical and the two green ones are identical. Don't get too confused on that. It's only two plans in most states. In Washington, it's only one plan. So when you look at it, what it says, you know, you can go to um, decide for those who will utilize the American network. The first thing you do on the website is you click that link and then you put in your zip code or the city name and you see if, you, if the dentist is on the network, you can find them by name. If it is, great, you sell them the network flat. If it's not, you sell them the out-of-network out of version. So step number one, find the dentist. Step number two, purchase a plan. Now you know if it's network or out. So most popular plan is the advantage $2,000 in network. So number three, add vision or don't. If they want vision, add it. If they don't, don't. Step number four, who is the client? You put in the name, address, date of birth, phone number, email. Wow, how long does it take you to type this? About a minute, good. Step number five, you put in the payment information. Bank accounts are always preferred because they don't expire, but you can use credit or debit cards as well. 
And then step number six, you press submit. You just solve a dental or a dental and vision policy. It takes you less than three minutes to do the whole thing. That is the beauty of this. We have a really, really easy to use, very friendly technology. Consumer approved if you want to send to your client to do it themselves. Wow. So that's the technology part. And lastly, when you press submit, plaque, an email appears in your client's inbox saying, thank you for your purchase. Like anytime you buy anything online on Amazon, whenever you get a confirmation email. And also you, the agent, get an email saying, hey, somebody was just messing around with my hyperlink and purchased a dental policy or a vision policy. So you get a confirmation in case you didn't do it yourself. Great. Now you know you made a sale or you did it yourself, so you obviously know that. But in the email, it says, hey, if you have any questions, you can call your agent at this number, or if you want to, you can call Emeritus at this number. It's pretty cool. And it tells you when the money's coming out. We don't have paper ads, don't ask me for that. We will not do it, it's not worth it. It's just too simple to not do it uh, anywhere else. You can do it on your cell phone. It's very easy. Again, it takes two to three minutes online, it's super easy. So we covered the simplicity of the products. They're pretty simple for the most part. Uh, you know, unfortunately, with with the Washington having the six month waiting period, is, is not as simple, but it's still pretty simple and better than anything else in Washington. Um, we cover the the value to the client. Why? Because we give you the most value via the day one benefit on everything, or only six months wait on major versus a year. But we also give you the most value via the the best individual networking in dental, via the 32% average discount with a lot of dentists in, in it. So huge participation. So the, the client is going to receive a lot of discounts and uh, or get everything in a very discounted way and save a lot of money. Then we also give you the technology, the hyperlink that you just saw, that tool that you go in there. I mean, I mean you do two sales and you'll know how to use it forever. It will be super fast. But the last one is the one that is more tricky. Because how do I tell people, hey, service is, is good? Everybody says service is good. Well, I want you to think about something. Um, we are a dental carrier. We own our network. We're not leasing the network. We also administer our own business. We don't have a TPA administering our businesses. It's all done in-house. We're huge in this space. We're the fifth largest carrier in the dental space, and that's including all the group business. So we, we actually had the benchmark portal come and rate our call center, and they rate call centers from 50 to 300 people. And we won an award 11 years in a row saying that, hey, first call resolution, answer, answer uh, calls within 15 seconds if a, if a client is calling, if a provider is within 30 seconds. You know, they measure all these things. And we won this award 11 years in a row as the top call center in the country. Wow, that's pretty impressive because they measure all the industries, and only one other company, not insurance related, has won it twice in a row. So 11 years in a row is, is very meaningful. So hey, you can believe it or not, but try it. Give us a try. And the whole idea is that you sell it and you forget it. Why am I saying this? I'm seeing a lot of MedSub carriers that are very well-known companies in, in the MedSub space are in dental today. Their plans are not nearly as good as ours in terms of benefit benefit or value to the client, but they made it really easy. You can check the box when you're selling the MedSub and you get it. But what is going to happen when the client goes to the dentist if the experience is not superb, if the service is not superb, if the value is not superb, or they don't see the savings and they want to cancel it? They could cancel the meds up as well. When you could have taken an extra minute, do this thing, enroll in this plan, and give them more value. Because, again, what did I ask you earlier? If it was your mother, would you sell them that one or this one? You got to sell the one that feels best and that you know is best, truly know it is best. So, again, not all networks are the same. Not all products offer the same benefit. Sometimes you just, oh, it's 150, they look similar, good enough. No, it's not. Look at that. The other thing I want to tell you is Emeritus. It's been around since 1887, 2.1 billion in revenue. That's actually outdated, it's 2.6 today. We're increasing like crazy. It's a mutual company, long term, very, you know, Midwestern, super nice people. Now, why, what am I telling you this? Because when, we were, when I worked for my other carrier, that was a small no-name carrier, and people went to the dentist, say, do you take security life? The dentist didn't know what it was. So the client will call the agent and say, hey, uh, you sold me something, you told me the dentist was gonna take it, but they don't take it. Because they didn't know to ask that, hey, do you actually take this network, which was the dental master, the carrier, they, they, the client doesn't know that. 
So it was a mess. And then the agent is calling frustrated. We know we do have it. We have to call the dentist and explain that it was the dental max or the, or the maximum care. But if you go to a dentist and you say, do you take Ameritas? They know exactly who we are. They know how to work with us. They know how to process claims. They're not going to call you. They're going to be, yes, we do. Easy. So it's saving you time, which means you have more time to sell, which is you're making more money. So it's be very selective and make sure that when you're selling something, it's well known in that industry. We are huge in that space. We're well known. People know how to work with us. Dentists like us. Dentists love people with insurance because they know they're going to pay them. So they refer people to us all the time. So some of you may have dentist friends. Go tell them, hey, refer clients to me because I can help them save some money. One last thing. You know that when a person is going to do something significant, you know, the ten, fifteen thousand dollars worth of work, uh, they have to submit it to us for a pre-approval. And we actually have dentists and staff and they're giving you a second opinion and they can question the dentist and say, hey, listen, hey, you, you could do this a little cheaper. You don't have to do it this way. Because some people are, ah, they don't know, I'm going to make more money. I'm going to try this more expensive procedure when there are cheaper ways. So you're also protecting your clients by giving them a second opinion for free or well, included in the benefit of the plan because they have to submit it to us. So it is pretty interesting how that works. So in general, the whole point of selling dental, again, is, is com commissions are good, and you can definitely call agency RM and discuss commissions, uh, but it's a referral product, especially when you can tell the client to use it and if you like it, refer people to me. It's gonna bring you leads. You're all paying for leads all the time, but you can get them for free. And if you keep doing this over and over and over, occasionally you're gonna have a bunch of people coming in asking for that. Once you sell the dental, you sell something else, it's going to help you with persistency. Multiple products with multiple carriers is going to help you. It's make it, makes it a little more difficult to cancel all at once. And it's also, a, you know, you, you have the client from different scenarios. Ultimately, you're adding value to your client's life because they have to do this anyway. We all do. I mean, I didn't go for almost a year to the dentist, and that lady was scratching my teeth forever. I was like, why? I, I have a sonicare. I brush all the time. I take care of myself. But if stuff happens, you need to maintain them. If, if I don't do so, I'm going to have higher expenses in the future. So it's, it's, it's a good idea to do that. It's going to save you money. So you're adding value to them on something they got to do anyway. And it's your reputation. It's your business. So make sure that out of all the options you have, you're selling the absolute best of that product because the person sitting there could be your mother or your father, assuming you love them. So think about that. So that's how this product makes you money. And that's why you got to select something that is true, really good in value. Where are you at so far? We started the presentation. I mean, do you feel this is a good fit for your business? Will you sell it to your parents? Will, will, does it add value? And if it does, I really, really hope that you work with us. I really want to thank you for your time today. I'm, I'm definitely open for questions right now. Uh, and again, thank you very much and look forward to working with all of you. Hopefully you get appointed right away. Diego, thank you very much for that presentation. Um, I'd like to call out a couple of things that I heard both today and back when I was in Omaha and heard this for the first time that I thought was really, really valuable. Then we're going to get into the questions section uh, here where we can open up phone lines as well as read off the questions that have been coming in through the chat box. So, uh, Diego, if I say anything that's incorrect, please interrupt me. Keep me honest here. You're the expert. I'm not. Um, but one of the things that I, I really liked about this particular product, and this particular carrier, as, compo as opposed to the other carriers of, that are in the market, you know, there are a lot of them out there, the, the Delta Dentals and the Washington Dental Service and things like that, is unlike a lot of these other products, uh, Emeritus has actually gone out and created a better discount with the providers for that maximum allowable charge. So when somebody says, oh, well, it's 50% with Emeritus and it's 50% with, I'll make up a name, you know, Delta Dental, you're probably going to actually end up of 50% of a smaller number when you're with Emeritus than you are with another carrier because they've created a better dental network. It's also a very, very large dental network. I have not seen any problems in identifying where to find a, a, a dentist. Um, the sales process is extremely easy. I've actually sold this to a client on behalf of one of our agents because he didn't want to deal with dental at the time. Um, but the sales process is super easy. There's dentists everywhere. They can go outside the network if they choose to, but they're going to get the best savings inside the network. The other thing is this is a great lead generator for you. Every single person out there, I should say nearly every single person out there has teeth. 
all right? And they're going to need those maintained. You also don't have all the funky Medicare rules surrounding dental, so you can pick up the phone and call whoever you want. It's a lot cheaper to market dental. You actually get the best bang for your buck when marketing dental. And then once they become your client, you can turn around and sell them other products, be it an ACA plan, a Medicare plan, uh, an accident, critical illness, life insurance, whatever it is that you want to sell to that individual that they need you're then able to take care of them. And if it's Medicare, you don't have to worry about the unsolicited contact rules because they are now your client. So a lot of opportunities here. Further, I've actually looked at some of the competitors side by side with Emeritus. Not only are the benefits ultimately better, but the commissions are better with Emeritus as well. In the long run and in the short run, you make more money with Emeritus selling this product. So using this as a lead generator, you go out, you're generating leads for your other lines of business and making money doing it by selling a product uh, as your marketing tool. You can't get much better than that. It is way cheaper than just spending money to market rather than selling a product to market. So definitely recommend this. Super, super easy to contract. It's all electronic, super easy to sell. If you need any support or you need to, to get contracted, all you need to do is reach out to Agent CRM. You can call us at 855-721-8088 or email us at contracting at agentcrm.com. We'll get you taken care of. If you have an agency and you've got downline agents, there are override agreements available and we can take care of you there. So with that, let's go ahead and open this up to questions. I'm going to start with the stuff in the chat box and start going through that. If you have a question you'd like to speak live, um, hit that raise hand button and uh, I'll be able to see who's raised uh, their hand and we'll get your line unmuted uh, at the appropriate time. So first question comes from Shirley. Uh, she asked, can you, uh, Diego, can you pop up that I slide again? Uh, and she, and yeah. Shirley, Absolutely. if you have a specific question on that vision slide, uh, please type it in the box or raise your hand and we'll get you on here. Um, otherwise, uh, let's move on to the next question while that's sitting up there because it's also related to vision. So Perry says, question on the vision. Other Medicare supplement policies contain iMed, but the clients can't really use it because when they go to the provider, uh, the provider can't figure out the proper plan to utilize. All right, does this particular plan provide separate vision cards or something with the proper ID number so the provider is able to use it? Yeah, so with IMED, we do actually send you an insurance card and you can basically, you know, use the insurance card like you would the dental card. Uh, with VSP, with the, with the other plan that we have, uh, we actually don't need a dental card. The, the client only goes there and gives them their name and their date of birth and they're in the system. So they find them via that. Remember, we don't use socials or nothing when we're selling it. So it's really name and date of birth. But with IMED, we do send you or provide you a dental insurance card. So they know they have the, the insurance and they know how to how much to, to charge them. Thank you. Thank you. So and something that I was thinking about here also, there's there's two major pieces here that we, we need to remember. Number one was dental. Dental is one of the most important pieces of physical health that is actually overlooked. Everybody says, well, it's oral health. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect physical health. When in reality, it does. The mouth is one of the fastest ways to get bacteria and viruses into the bloodstream. If your teeth aren't taken care of and your teeth are rotting or, or they're infected, then you're putting additional uh, bacteria and additional potential illness directly into your bloodstream, into your body. It is extremely important and well-recognized in the medical community, extremely important to have solid oral health. And then vision health is extremely important as well. Not only is getting those routine eye exams for glasses important because if they see something that is at risk, they're going to refer you to go see an ophthalmologist or let you know what they're able to work with in the, uh, the construct of their license. But furthermore, if somebody can't see, their quality of life has dropped dramatically. If they can't read their pill bottles, they're not able to maintain their physical health properly. If they can't read those doctor's orders, they're not able to maintain their physical health properly. And ultimately, they end up with greater medical issues and greater medical costs. So dental and vision are an extremely important piece that is unfortunately left out of our Medicare system in most cases, as you know. And so this is a fantastic benefit to talk to your Medicare clients about, but also to any of the clients that are out there because this is available to everybody. All right, are there any other questions that can pop in here to our chat box? It doesn't look like we've got anything there. Is anybody raising their hand? Not yet. Well, then I don't think we've got any more questions. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending. Diego, as usual, this was amazing. I appreciate you having an opportunity to come out here 
um, and, and do this for us. I look forward to our next presentation on July 11th. Um, if you are interested in contracting for Emeritus, please reach out to us. Email uh, is contractingagencyrm.com. I'll put that in the chat box. Or you can call us at 855-721-8088, and we'll be happy to get you contracted. It's a simple contract over um, DocuSign. The commissions are fantastic. It's a super easy product to sell. Uh, let's hear 855-721-8088. There you go. Um, if does anybody last minute questions, type into the chat box or, or, or throw a hand up in the system and we'll get that answered while Diego is here. I don't see anything. Guys, thanks so much for attending. With that, we're going to go ahead and end our webinar today. Diego, you did fantastic. We appreciate you, sir. Thank you very much. Take care, everybody. All right. Bye-bye, everybody.